Yo, Bucko, it's Zero, come back to you with another figure of you. And today we have another Black Series Galaxy's Edge exclusive. It's DJ Rex. And this one was the other one of the four pack exclusives we got from Galaxy's Edge that they released in the single packs at Target. Now we are only missing Commander Pyre and the Mouse Droid. And I believe someone found the Pyre out in the wild, so that should be coming soon. Now the only other figures I would want them to make from Galaxy's Edge are B. Moradi, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. She would be a very awesome character to have. Also, since we have Hondo, I'm hoping they would give us his astromech droid, R5P9. I really can't think of anyone else I would want, or well, that they sh could really make besides Doc Ondor, so if they decide to do that over ha a Hammerhead figure. I'd probably be on board with that, but I know there's more rides and characters that are coming in the future, so I'm sure they'll make more Galaxy's Edge figures. Hopefully they are individually packed, but anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's talk about DJ Rex a little bit. So DJ R3X, or RX24, or just R3X, he was formerly known as Captain Rex. Yeah, yeah, kind of funny. That was the original Captain Rex. He was part of the Star Tours ride, and I believe the Star Tours ride came out in 1987. He was the captain of ST-45, which was a Star Commuter 2000 transport. So he was briefly made non-canon, then immediately re-canonized by Rebels. And yes, apparently, though he looks a little different in Rebels, it's him. He appeared in the third episode of Rebels alongside R2 and C-3PO, so it's kind of funny to see him, Chopper, R2, and 3PO all in the same place at the same time. After that, he piloted four Star Tours, which is where I know him from. I was lucky enough to get to see the original Star Tours before they renovated it in 2010. Anyways, he flew four Star Tours for a while before he crash landed on one of his tours on Batu, and he was turned into a DJ droid. Now he can be seen playing in Oga's Cantina with his new orange color scheme, which I absolutely love. So that's enough about him. Let's take a look at the box. And he's got a thick box. Thick box, like look at that. And this box is actually the same size as the probe droid box. And here is Captain Cardinal's box. Let's give you a good idea of how small this actually is. So anyways, the front of the box, you got your little character picture there. You got DJ R3X, or DJ Rex. You got your Galaxy's Edge logo. This is not a sticker. Um, you got the side of the box, thick as hell. Mine has the First Order logo on it. So now I have a set of First Order figures, even though they should have the Resistance logo on it. And his bio says DJ R3X. Rex was recently reprogrammed to be a DJ in Oga's Cantina. Today he can be found playing the latest hits from around the galaxy in the heart of Black Spire Outpost. And that's pretty uh it's a pretty decent description of him, yep. And you got your unreadables, side of the box, DJ Rex, they pretty much fit the whole thing, so that's cool. Top of the box, black. Bottom of the box, unreadables. And these Galaxy's Edge boxes are still super, super nice. It makes me wonder why they waited all this time until we got the redesigned packaging to start using these different colors for these boxes. Anyways, these Galaxy's Edge boxes will definitely stand out in your collection for sure. They all look good together in a group, but let's crack this DJ out of the box, get a closer look at him. And here he is out of the box, and holy crap, he has articulation everywhere. Like, everywhere, dude. Like, his fingers move. Like, I'm impressed. This is an awesome figure. Now, he doesn't come with any accessories. So we can get right into that articulation I was talking about, but where do I even start with this? Okay, so 
terms of articulation, like everything moves here. So let's start with the head. Your head moves. Uh, it's on a ball joint, so this moves around pretty well. And then this is on, this just moves up and down, so it also moves all the way around. Then his headphones both move, so you can get pretty decent like range out of that. Uh, my came like this, so it was a little warped, unfortunately, in the packaging, but yeah. I was worried that it was like messed up or something, but it's fine, so that's cool. Um, all of his arms have their own individual like little ring they spin on as well as this moving down here. So this moves down here. This has a ring. This is a ring. This is also a ring. And then in terms of the arms, this one has the least amount of movement. You got your you can move all the way around 360. Then you have the swivel, the hinge and swivel. Well it's just a swivel here. And then this arm only stays in the one position, so you're really only giving like a kind of like, like you know. And this finger opens up, though mine keeps popping into the, between the finger. There you go. It opens up. So you get articulation there. And this spins around. So that usually just stays up in the air because he's a DJ. It makes sense. It's just like, and then so. This arm, you got your Star Tours logo here, or at least I'm pretty sure it's a Star Tours logo. And this arm goes all the way around 360. You got a swivel or a hinge here. This also rotates. And then this hand is on a hinge and swivel as well. Would I even call it that? Oh, they look like if you pulled it out, it would unattach, but I'm not going to mess around with that. This rotates. This claw opens up. Closes. Pretty cool articulation. Um, then this hand uh, rotates all the way around. Moves up and down, but more up than down. And the hand rotates. And this can go up and down or left and right depending on which way you have it. This also looks like it would pop out if you pulled it because it's on like a little thing, like a little uh, hook thing. And um, other than that, uh, there's everything seems to move, but that's it for articulation, I think. I kind of wish that this moved up and down a little bit, but not really a problem. Um, he pretty much moves everything he needs to move. I wish my head was a little more stiff right here, though. Even this, like, collar piece right here moves. I wonder what that is for. Oh. Is that to make the head stiffer? Is that what that's for? Is it to lock it into place? I don't know. Taking a closer look at this guy. He's got some nice paintwork all throughout. He's got a little bit of, uh, like, I think dry brushing on the orange and, like, on, only on the orange and then some parts of the arm. So it makes him look really like weathered and warm down. So that's really cool because he's a droid. It looks He definitely was super clean when he was on the Star Tours ride. Uh, it's a nice clean silver color. Now he's this orange color so it's nice that they like dirtied him up a bit to be like, hey uh, this is a scavenge droid. Silver brushing, same thing here and here. Um, yeah, there's not 
whole lot to talk about besides that. He's got a really good paint job, and um, for the blue here, these are supposed to be glowing, so it's not actually blue, but it's like a blue light, so that's kind of cool that they just like made it blue instead of just like not having it. Same thing with his eyes. And there is a bit of silver in between the blue of his eyes, but you can't really see it with my camera. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you can see it there. Just a faint little bit. It's like... Actually, is that even there? Or is it just the way the blue captures it? No, it, it's all blue. My bad. But the way the light hits, it makes it look like it's silver, so that's actually really cool. Alright, and I would say let's pose this figure, but uh, we're just going to do a 360 view this time. Cause, I mean, there's not really like a whole lot to pose here. Now we're going to take a look at him next to some other figures. Um, his head is extended fully at the moment, so yeah, his head normally would be like that, but I'm going to have him up just so you can get a better um, sense of scale, because probably not going to have him with his head down like that. We'll start with the other Galaxy's Edge exclusive that I already have owned. Here he is next to Captain Cardinal, and here he is next to the Hoth Le Rebel Trooper, and here he is next to the original Black Series Stormtrooper, and here he is next to BB-8, Chopper, and R2-Q5, and here he is next to the Mandalorian and Boba, and finally here he is next to Luke Skywalker Squawker, and overall this is a really awesome figure. It's kind of nostalgic to me, even if it's not the same colors as he was on Star Tours, but I do like the orange a lot better, and I love the headphones he has, so it's a really cool design for this droid. I'm glad Disney kept him around. It's a cool little thing for the old Disney and Star Wars fans. It might not be the most interesting to some people, but for me, this is an awesome figure. He definitely stands out in this unique assortment of Galaxy's Edge figures. Anyways, you can bring them in warm, or you can bring them in cold. Good hunting, and thanks for watching.